All right, Super 7 TMNT video, and we are taking a look at two figures from Wave 7, okay? Why two figures? Because I can't ball that hard, okay? I can't I can't go that hard. I don't have the cha-ching to go that hard. So I said, let me, let me maybe just cherry pick, which is what I do with Super 7 anyway. Well, I, I do that with most lines now anyway. Um, I don't think, am I a completist? Other than, I think the only thing I'm a completist on right now is like 87 Turtles. But um, I went in, I took a look, I said, you know what? There are two figures that I do want to get, or I'll give myself to. How about that? And the ones that I picked were Punker Don, okay? Contrary to popular belief, I don't hate Punkers, okay? That's Casey Jones, not me. And then this giant one, look at the size of this box, Gorilla gorilla in the gigantic box okay just in case it's not it's not coming out look at the size differentiation on punker don versus gorilla gorilla okay uh, if you don't know this was um, their answer to uh sergeant bananas uh sergeant bananas i think there is something with the rights uh going on so basically if i'm not mistaken which i probably will be gorilla gorilla existed in the comics or in one of the comics and so this is kind of like a backdoor way of making Sergeant Bananas, but, you know, um, not. I guess that, I guess it's that, okay? Um, because they can't make the Playmates version. It's just rights and rights. I hate rights, man. I hate, it's like, I just wish, could we just reset all rights and just, I don't know, just everybody can do anything. I guess that's a horrible idea. But anyway, um, wanted to get these two. Again, I gave myself two. Can't, I, I don't have the cha-ching to, to, to roll in that way. And I'm not like, you know, some of these other reviewers that, hey, I got all the free ones and I'm going to review them. I got to pay with my hard-earned money. And uh, if you know me, you know that I love my money, okay? So am I going to be happy about this purchase? We're going to see, all right? So uh, Punker Don right here, Super 7 slide. I think this is uh, getting uh, ousted. I don't think they're doing this uh, kind of packaging anymore. But look at that. This is why I wanted them. I don't know. This one was very, very appealing to me. Punker Don, uh, this head specifically. And um, um, uh, I, I think this one looked fun. And uh, so we'll open him up. And then here we go. The biggest Super 7 slide, I think, in Mad Hatter history. Look at this. Uh, oh, my God. There's so much. So much gorilla goodness. Uh, come on. Out. Out, you. All right. There you go. Holy shit. Look at this guy. Gorilla, gorilla, look at his face. <laughs> uh, we're gonna take a closer look at it. He's heavy as shit. And um, I'm very curious to see. I, I like a big gorilla figure. I like a like a big figure anyway, okay? I don't, do you see that giant man I found at Ross? <laughs> but not really. Uh, so let's open him up. Let's open Punker Don and let's see. Did I pick right? Did I pick the correct two? Or are any of them correct? I don't know. Uh, the Triceraton was another one. I was on the fence, but I decided I'll do one turtle and one non-turtle, and here we are. So, strange video. It's not the whole wave, okay? Super 7, you want to send me the rest of the wave? I will review it, okay? I'm not going to poo-poo uh, uh, free stuff, but I have a feeling that's not going to happen. So, let's open these guys up, and I'll see you there. All right, and we are back with Punker Don, and uh, I almost said uh, Sergeant Bananas, Gorilla gorilla and i gotta say these are fucking beautiful toys man oh man how nice are these did i just pick right or are they all this i might have to go in go back maybe get a triceratops maybe maybe clean up that line because these figures are awesome okay i found no there's no loose joints on this one paint on this is clean now i have there there are a few criticisms okay Let, let's all relax of course there's going to be it's me but man the impact is right there right out the gate you're like wow this is a nice figure this uh i put this punker don together every one of his heads are awesome okay he's got this kind of like sid vicious type of head going on there that i put on him with the tongue out look how nuts he looks it's got the one uh, hand with the silver plate on there. The the matte finish on his jacket is like real nice. You know what I mean? He's got the tear there. It's not like shiny. It's nice matte finish. Uh, the texture is cool. This kind of opens up. Look at that. <laughs> you got these blue pants. You got these, these uh, shoes. 
with the shoelaces and uh wow i love this uh this guitar i would have liked that there was a little bit of um i don't know uh, um, uh of a wash in there to bring out uh, some of that but it's still a nice as far as guitars go it's really really nice here are the other two heads right here you get this head this is the one that came standard with him which is also good and then this one which is the one i was debating putting on maybe i, I will do that but he's just like you know, just screaming, hello, St. Louis, you know, <laughs> starting the show. It's got the earring there. Both very, very nice heads. And and the paint, the paint is awesome. It's not glossy paint, folks, okay? Nice matte paint and um, uh, uh, looks really, really nice on the shelf. This mic stand is great. This microphone comes out. It's uh, kind of like uh, wrapped up. Uh, like a bow. It's got, it's basically, it's like an instrument. You know, you got the little, I don't know anything about instruments, but the little whistle piece. And it's like, oh, well, like a clarinet, a clarinet slash bow, because it's got the wrapping on there. Is that what you would call it? Okay. I don't know. Don't, don't kill me music people. But uh, this is really cool. Um, bunch of hands. He comes with, comes with a chain. All right. Um, I don't know what you do with this. It's like a wallet chain. It's like a whip chain or I don't know, uh, maybe this goes somewhere. I gotta, I gotta figure it out, but could just be a weapon. Then he comes with a tuning fork, all right? The old tuning fork. All of his stuff has like uh, like the purple purple wrapping on it, but this is cool right here, a tuning fork. And then of course, uh, a record. You gotta have a record if you're gonna get, if you're gonna sign this guy. Um, Punker Don is great. I'm very happy with them. On to Gorilla Gorilla. My God, this is a... This sculpt is beautiful, man. This is like, this ev this uh, evokes so many feelings. Like, I feel like I want to go play like Donkey Kong or something. He is, he is sculpted beautifully. Um, you can see, look at the giant gun uh, that he has here in one hand. And then in the other hand, let me move him back. Holy shit. In the other hand, he's got like this, uh, that bazooka. Okay, banana banana bazooka right there all right look at that look at the size of that thing and then he's got this um this bandolier and the bandolier has these bananas you can take them all out okay you can you can you can take out here let me just do that real quick you take out a banana there you go one one banana out and these grenades i just kind of clipped them here but you can uh you can take out these grenades that's an accessory that he does come with take let's just take them all out just for the purposes of this um he has these uh these dog uh, uh, dog tags that um, float off of him, and this is his screaming head. Uh, so uh, let's take off. We'll take off the sunglasses. So the sunglasses, uh, basically, there you go. Um, they're firm, which I like. Uh, Firmish for sunglasses, and he has this uh, this helmet on, and there's his screaming face. Look at his crew cut. <laughs> look at his <laughs> look at his uh, just his uh, yeah his hair. Very, very military. These are these guys are like polar opposites, okay? You get this dude who's like a punk. He's all about re rebel, rebel against the system. And you get this dude who's like a military dude. Um, the one thing that I do wish, um, I do wish that there was, because this is so big, A, I wish there was a little more paint involved in this, okay? Um, especially like, you see the fingers, okay? Um, it just kind of like goes into the finger and the nail. I just wish that there was some paint to differentiate the nail. Same thing with the toes. You see how they're kind of like, like, oops, uh, like plain Jane um, type of toes. And uh, no, you know, there's just something to, to break that up a little bit. Break up the, the flesh tone. Um, same thing with the camouflage. Camouflage needs a ne an extra something. It, it's just almost like a little too simple, maybe like a... Uh, a wee bit of cell shading or some kind of shading that's in there just to differentiate it. Um, all my notes are like paint notes. Uh, his fur is a little darker than um, than the uh, the renders. I do wish that it was like a little lighter. Um, up close though, it's 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 pretty good, but in photos it just ends up looking dark. But um, I, I just wish I don't know. I remember that the renders were lighter. And um, same thing, by the way, my paint note, same thing, like kind of like on the face. This is his normal face, um, which again, sculpt is great, but um, I just feel it needs, I don't know, maybe some flourishes of paint. It does have it, but um, 
I never loved this face anyway. I like this one the most, just uh, all his his teeth. He comes with a million hands, by the way. Holy shit, do we need all that? Let me see. Besides the hands he's got, one, two, uh, the one, two, then three, four, five, six, uh, seven, <laughs> eight, uh, nine, ten. Ten. <laughs> ten hands in total. Oh, God, I can't even hold them all. We don't need so many hands, all right? I think... Two grabbing hands, two fists. I don't know. Maybe one coconut hand. He's got a coconut. Okay. Put the lime in the coconut. This coconut's pretty cool. It's got some nice paint on it. He also has this knife. This knife right here. That's a knife. Um, pretty cool. I like the, the metallic paint on there. And um, wow. He's so big, man. <laughs> and yes, that is what she said. Man. This is a... Uh, he's a showstopper type of figure, too. You put him on a shelf immediately gets attention okay his sculpt is so fucking good these are well done this reminds me of like why i got into super seven back in the day you know super seven rocky climb up down up down up down uh but stuff like this i just makes me fall back in love with them by the way mobility and everything works uh really well these long ass arms bicep swivel arms go that much and you know he's got obviously you know if you've ever uh, mess with figures like this size, you know, there's, there's, there's a limited amount of stuff you can do, but he, he, he moves surprisingly well. There's nothing on him that's like loose that, uh, that I can see, or at least on mine. And, um, uh, for being so top heavy, these are a little tricky to get on, um, together at least. Let me go ahead and try that. And there we go. I put the other head on him. I couldn't resist. I love it. <laughs> so yeah. This is uh, my contribution uh, to Wave 7, all right? Um, this figure is more expensive, obviously, the big one. Uh, I don't know, $75. I got them at Toy Stalker. That's where I found the cheapest, but he might be sold out. If not, he's probably got, like, a few in stock, just a few, um, because these are popular. And that's the other thing. They're not making them in the numbers um, they used to make them, okay? So um, if I know sometimes people want to play the sales game, um, I think that works for the earlier waves. Doesn't tend to work for the later waves, okay? Um, it is true that they are making less. So if this is something you must have, okay, and you don't want to get caught with your pants down and, you know, like some of those other figures like Wiley Kit, it's like, this thing is like a $150 figure now and shit like that. Then uh, you know what you have to do. You got to pay the iron price, the gorilla price. Uh, man, this is uh, it's awesome, awesome, awesome. So I love these two, okay? I, I <laughs> they're great. They, they make me happy. I look at them, I get happy. And if you know me, that's why they call me the happy hatter. No, they don't call me that. But uh, uh, yeah, very excited about these in my collection. Uh, where do they go? Who knows? In the back somewhere. <laughs> it's a big guy. Uh, I, I kind of wish like these punk heads were, you know what? Might, be not, uh, might not be a bad idea to, I don't know, paint them up and give... Like, I would love for this head to exist with this head. You know what I mean? But it's, it's going to be two Donatello's. Uh, could I paint that something else? Nah, but he's got the olive green. But, eh, see, there you go. There you go. I just logic myself right out of uh, creating a little band here. But uh, these look cool. They're great. Uh, Super 7. Don't, you know, I know sometimes people, they want to, you know, which company's doing this? Which co company's doing what? Companies, they rise and fall. I just saw that McMahon thing. They were talking about how WCW rose and then WWE rose after that. It's not, you never know in the toy game. My advice, pick up the shit that you like. This is awesome. Very, very, this is, this is a fucking, this is a win. Creative work. Love it. Uh, more like this, Super 7, please. Uh, comment, subscribe, drop me a like. See you next time. Bye-bye.